I am going to teach the adorable little Aiden how to do the Pythagorean theorem for my project. So yes, enjoy. To do the Pythagorean theorem, you must have a right-sided triangle with only one missing side length. I'm going to teach my brother a more simple version of this, just the basics of it. But here it is. I'm going to teach you about the Pythagorean theorem. Alright, so say we have this wonderful little triangle right here. Okay. okay. We this is 8. It's 11. This is X because we have absolutely no idea what it is. X means we don't know. Exactly. Alright, now we're going to label this side A. The hypotenuse will always be C. And then this side is B. Okay? Now, we are going to find what X is. And you do that with the Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay? Okay. So first we're going to plug in the numbers. So it will be 8 squared plus 11 squared equals C, which is X squared. Now 8 squared, 64, and 11 squared is 121. That will equal to C squared. Now 64 plus 121 is 185, which is still equal to C squared. And then you take to find out what C is going to be. You square root both sides. And then 185 becomes, becomes 6, no, sorry. 13.6. And that is the Pythagorean theorem. Wow. Imagine doing all of those on one test that's one minute. That'd be intense. You need another example or are you good? I think I know. No? Alright. I'm going to tell her that, they, that I know the 